This is Justin Germino from DragonBlogger.com, and I'm here showing off the website Playgram, which is actually a plagiarism checker online. This is especially important for bloggers or for somebody who wants to review content to see if it might be plagiarized from other sites. So basically the way this tool works is you you know log in the tool, you set up an account, and then you can upload papers or documents, and then it reviews all the text in the document and compares them to all the sites online that are indexed by that way you can determine if you have any plagiarized content. On my home screen dashboard here, you see all your previous checks that you've run. You can see I ran one detailed report, which found no plagiarism on one specific doc I uploaded, and I ran another report that showed that there was a high plagiarism risk for another document. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you through the process. I have some credit loaded into my account. You can see up here, now you can get different types of reports and there's uh, different costs depending on the type of the report and I'll show you that in a little bit. So the first thing you want to do is choose what you want to scan to see if it's plagiarized or not. So I'm going to go ahead and upload a test document here. And you can see the file successfully uploading and it's scanning online looking for matches. Now, depending on the length of the document and how much it has to scan online, this usually could take 30 seconds to usually a minute, minute and a half. It does, you know, I've had I've had it take as much as 90 to 120 seconds, but usually it turns back in under a minute typically. Okay, I time skipped here a little bit, but this took about mm, 42 seconds to come back to complete or so, or actually it says 50 seconds here. I counted 42. Um, to complete this entire scan. So for about 50 seconds it took, you see you see that Playgram test document, and I'll show the text in the doc, 82% similarity, 2% passphrase, four matches found. So what you wanna do is you wanna look at the detailed report here, and it has a three star high plagiarism risk. So I click on detailed report here. And then you'll see here where it shows you to click on the red area for plagiarism source. So you can see everything copied in red is found to be plagiarized or, or duplicated on another site. So if I click on the red links, it'll show you, oh, what, you know what, this text exactly in this format is found on dragonblogger.com under this article. Well, it just so happens that for this test, I cut and pasted the text from a Dragon Blogger article knowing full well that it should find it and that I just plagiarized content from my own blog. So you can see it found the match on that article here. And basically that, that that's expected behavior. Obviously if I would have found matches on another site, I would have determined that was unexpected or poor behavior. Now what I thought it could do is it said four matches and I have a hard time figuring out um, if there were other match sources, because obviously I could click on individual portions here and it just shows the same site. I don't have a way to determine if these were matches on more site than one. So there could be some clarity or update. When it says four matches, I'm not quite sure if it's saying four paragraph matches. Is it finding four sites online and only showing me one of them? I can't get more details on that, which would have been a little bit nice to uh, find out in the search results. So it could use some additional features to allow you to click on matches, because right now it allows you to hover over it, but clicking on it doesn't do anything. So showing more details about what does it mean by four matches would have been something I would like to see because I don't know what that means, honestly. So the other thing with program is, is you really can't click on the 2% paraphrase or bad citations. It, it needs more updates where you can actually get more details by clicking on these items. But it does show you where the source is, um, where the plagiarism is, and it gives you an idea if the if the content's been copied or plagiarized from another site online. Something you can do too is you don't have to worry about spending money right away. Feel free to test out Playgram to see if you'd like it yourself too. You can always click on the free button here and there's a way to earn free dollars just by doing sharing. So you can earn a dollar in credits for sharing on Facebook, a dollar for sharing on Twitter, a dollar for sharing via email. So you get some initial money for sharing that you can play with and see if you like the program without having to put your money into it first, obviously. Now you get to look at any previous report by clicking on your papers, and you don't get charged to look at a paper of uh, comparison report you've already paid for. Those are permanent history. In most cases, I wouldn't see going back and having to do a detailed report unless you had to do some sort of auditing or check something uh, in the past or something like that. But generally, you have your, your stuff in your archive and in your history. You, they also have good, some good reward incentives for uh, people who stay with the site a long time, uh, such as a 50% 
account for people who share all the social shares. You get 50 credits just for being with the company for one year. So you do get some rewards for being with it. Again, Playgram is a new tool to do uh, copy scanning of, of, of plagiarism works online. Make sure the content, the guest posts, or the work you're receiving is actually unique and original and not found online. Could use some additional features, could use some additional uh, breakout, but it's a good place to start and it's a tool you might want to take a look at. Thank you for watching.